So these are the four robots we're working on today, and I'll give you a little status report and update on them uh, and what they're doing. And I'm going to start with the Spot robot. Spot is a four-legged robot, smaller than Big Dog, electrically powered, and it has truly remarkable terrain mobility, much more mobility and, uh, and autonomy than the Big Dog robot that preceded it. And that's because we learned a few things about how to design the hardware and software that made it much more feasible for use. But the idea is that we're experimenting with the various terrain and uh, situations. And in the Boston area, which is where we're from, there's many different kinds of stairways and door entries and things like that. And we're doing about 60, uh, 75 to 80 percent success on the kinds of places where our employees live. Part of that success is based on a very vigorous testing program that we do with our robots to make sure that the control algorithms can really handle the terrain and the disturbances that the real world has to offer. I think this kind of testing is the most important thing I can convey to you about what we do because it means that the robot can work in a wide variety of circumstances, not just in the situation that was planned in advance. One of the quirks of a quadruped like this is they frequently have trouble going downstairs because of the shape of the legs. So we have Spot Mini go downstairs backwards and it's just like going upstairs uh, forwards. And it turns out there are many dogs that don't like going down uh, steep stairs as well. A thing we've learned is that making a robot behave in a very confined space is much harder than making it work out in the woods. Because in the woods, there's usually a lot of room. It doesn't matter exactly where you go. Here, we're showing that the robot can look for footholds and uh, make a planning operation where it adjusts how the body moves and how the feet move to adjust to the environment. And when you put all the reflexes, controls, and perception together, you can get a robot that works in the unstructured world as well.